Hello guys welcome back to the new video of best rated. This video is all about World Cup 2022 so stick till the end of the video to know all about it. In this video we are previewing the group F of World Cup 2022. So without any further ado let's get into the video. Which nations are going to play in World Cup 2022? Who are the star players and managers to watch out for and how did each team qualify? Watch this video till the end to know about it all. Group F Belgium, Canada, Morocco, Croatia. Belgium. Who's the manager? Roberto Martinez, always linked with a return to Premier League management. The Spaniard is still in charge of the Red Devils and is preparing for his third major tournament in charge later this year. Martinez led Belgium to the semi finals of the 2018 World Cup, where they lost 1 0 to eventual champions France but a mixed display at Euro 2020 saw them knocked out by the eventual champions again when Italy won their quarterfinal, 2-1. This looks likely to be Martinez's final chance to win something with the country's golden generation. Who's the star man? Kevin De Bruyne, the Manchester City midfielder has been arguably the world's best midfielder for two or three years now and has 11 goals and 8 assists so far this season. He came into last summer's Euros with a facial injury sustained in the Champions League final and then suffered an ankle knock against Portugal in the last 16. He did play in the quarterfinals but there were doubts he was fully fit. Belgium needs their star man on fire if they are to have any chance in Qatar. How did they qualify? Unsurprisingly, Belgium finished top of a mediocre qualifying group that contained Wales, the Czech Republic, Estonia, and Belarus. Perhaps the biggest shock was that they didn't take maximum points. A pair of 1 1 draws away in Prague and Cardiff ensured they dropped for points, but a handsome 8 0 win over Belarus this time last year sent Belgium on their way to qualifying with ease. Canada Who's the manager? John Herdman. The Englishman took over the men's side in 2018, having previously coached the highly rated Canada women's team for seven years. Yet with a star-studded generation of players to call upon, the 46-year-old from County Durham had led Canada to their first World Cup in 36 years. Who's the star man? Alfonso Davies, not a difficult one. The Bayern Munich left-back is one of the brightest defensive prospects in world football, having shown his quality in particular on the German side's run to the 2020 Champions League. However, he was not present when Canada qualified last week due to developing mild myocarditis, a heart condition, in January, though thankfully he is back training with his club. How did they qualify? Canada finished top of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying with Mexico, having won 8 and drawn 4 of their 14 qualification games. Their 4-0 win in Toronto against Jamaica last week secured their passage to Qatar amid huge celebrations and Davies crying watching on from afar. Morocco. Who's the manager? Walid Regragui. Morocco coach Walid Regragui has announced his squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup trademark. The biggest call from Regragui, who took over from deposed predecessor Vahid Halilhodzic on August 31st, has been to select striker Abderazak Hamdala, who hasn't featured for the national team since 2019. On August 10, 2021, Regragui was appointed as the head coach of Badola side Wydad AC. On May 30, 2022, he leads Wydad AC to win its third CAF Champions League title, after beating defending champions Al Ali in the final. He became only the second Moroccan manager to win the African Champions League, after Hussein Amoyuda with Wydad in 2017. On August 31, 2022, Regragui was appointed as the new head coach for the Morocco national football team after the sacking of former head coach Fahid Halilhodzic. Duty. Who's the star man? Akraf Hakimi. It's not very often a team's key player is their right back, but when you've got a fullback as good as Hakimi then you are very fortunate indeed. The PSG star has been incredible over the last couple of years for Dortmund and then Inter Milan, winning Serie A under Antonio Conti last season. Expect most of their play to come from down the right in Qatar. How did they qualify? After winning all six of their group games in the second round of qualifying, Morocco was paired with DR Congo in the two-legged knockout tie for a place in Qatar. Morocco showed their superiority eventually but the tie was finally poised after a 1-1 draw in the first leg. 
Halil Hodzik's side blew their opponents away in the return, winning 4-1 to take their place in Qatar. Croatia Who's the manager? Slatko Dalek, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Dalek has been in charge of Croatia at two major tournaments and took them to the World Cup final in 2018 and the last 16 of Euro 2020 before they were beaten by Spain in an eight-goal thriller in Copenhagen. Dalek has settled on a system that gets the best out of his key players and everyone seems to buy into his plan. In December, he signed a new contract to keep him tied to Croatia until 2024 so this will not be his final tournament in charge. Who's the star man? Luka Modric, somehow he continues to perform at the very top of world football, even at the age of 36. Modric's performance in Real Madrid's recent Champions League win over PSG was a masterclass. He's still a first-team regular at the Bernabeu and is still critical for his country. If Croatia is going to have any chance of upsetting the odds as they did in Russia four years ago then Modric will have to be faultless. How did they qualify? Croatia squeezed through as winners of their group, just edging Russia, who took second place before they were banned from the World Cup after the invasion of Ukraine. Dalek's side pipped the Russians by a point after winning seven of their ten matches in the group, including a 1-0 win over their strongest challengers in the final round of fixtures.